it's literally the most common question on the YouTube channel. I really dislike the misconception that people put forward that Southeastern Europe, the Balkans or Eastern Europe is a very racist place. But one thing you have to realize is that you are, as a black person, an extremely rare occurrence. You know, a lot of the, old, the elder generation, the elderly people, have never seen a black person in their lives. Ignore the, uh, the American propaganda, which is often put forward as the only dimension to people who look like me. We cannot allow um, the democratic freedom of free speech to be harmed because it offends some of us. And I'm very blessed, actually, to be black in Bulgaria, to be rare because I get to um, change perceptions. You know, guys, today, today is a very special video. But before we start, have a look where we are. Oh, bloody hell, that's cold. We, oh, fuck, you know, I need to kill myself. Okay, so we are at Cherno More, very, very close to Oh, look at them boats. As you can see, guys, there, maybe you can see, there is Sozopol. Okay. <laughs> and, and today, we're going to make a very, very, one sec, there we go, a very, very, very special video. Oh, wow. Hello, Dio. So, the, the video we're going to make today is called... Oh, oh fuck me! This is going to be harder than I thought. But the video is going to be called... Oh. Okay, we might have to change the location. <laughs> okay, so the video will be called Black in Bulgaria. Does it matter? Does it have any effect on my happiness here? Um, the reason why I want to make this vlog is because it's a very, 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 very common topic amongst all of my subscribers. Oh, there's Joanna, by the way, if you can see. Wow, look at that light. But yeah, so it's an extremely, extremely common topic amongst, amongst all of my subscribers. What is it like being black in Bulgaria? Now, I, I actually made a video about this not long ago. Oh, oh shit. okay. So I actually made a video about this not like well about six about six months ago. However, I really want to go in depth a little bit more today because in the last video it was um, very very short. So um, before we do that, um, just want to let you guys know the reason I am in the water a because it. It looks very, very, very cool. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful over there, Chernomore. But the other reason, oh look, there's a guy on his paddle boat. <laughs> the other reason I am here is because I am a challenge machine, Chernomore. Okay, guys, I'm chatting shit. Oh, wow. Oh, what is that? Medusa. Oh, can you see? Oh, I wish I could put the camera underwater, but I need the mic to work. So there's another Medusa. Okay. Guys, I will stop wasting time. And I'm going to go out of the water. The Cheren Mush is going to go out of the Cherno More. And we're going to start the video. What? So, like I said, today's video was thought of. Oh my god. Today's video is for us mainly because everybody keeps asking so keeps asking all the time what is it like do you have any negative experiences or are they primarily good uh, so I'm just gonna get somewhere good to sit okay guys so I've um, I found a, a pretty chill location where I can uh, talk about this topic. So like I said, the reason why I'm covering this, because I don't like, you know, these clickbaity, race baity titles, but the reason why I'm talking about this is because it's literally the most common question on the YouTube channel. Okay, um, what is it like being black in Bulgaria? So 
I will try and um, preface this with a bit of information for those who don't know. I have been living in Bulgaria for um, around two and a half, I'd say, actually, you know, two years, eight months now, but you know, coming up for three years. And funnily enough, I haven't really experienced in real life, obviously, the internet is totally different, especially with YouTube, but in real life, I have not experienced one, I'd say, truly negative racial experience or racist experience. In fact, I really dislike the misconception that people put forward that Southeastern Europe, the Balkans or Eastern Europe is a very racist place. There are individuals who are very racist and there are certain groups, you know, very, very far right. Nothing wrong with being far right, by the way, um, as long as, you know, you're not violent, um, you're allowed to have your own view, just like people that are allowed to be far left. But there are uh, groups that are, you know, a little bit racist or very racist. However, I have not encountered any, any of those groups and I haven't experienced anything negative. You guys have got to remember, I'm not talking shit when I say, you know, my life in Southeastern Europe or some people would call it Eastern Europe has been uh, sweet as a nut, <laughs> let's say, because, well, I've got a girlfriend here, her family loves me. I'm actually on holiday now with some of her family, as you saw. And I have never experienced any awkwardness, anything negative. So if, when people tell you that Bulgaria is racist, I, well, at least from my own subjective experience, I think they're talking out of their arse. Or a common thing, a common theme, is people get really offended by like um, very small things, very small, inconsequential things. For example, um, in one thing that does happen a lot in Bulgaria, everywhere I go, even right now I'm sure you'll see, is staring, okay? People will stare at you a lot. And then, and I've, I've watched other, uh, no disrespect to them, other black YouTubers, and they've said, you know, Bulgaria, it's a stare, the staring is a problem. And I've always thought that was a highly illogical and emotional response, because of course staring is common. Like, you're very different. You are extremely, uh, let's say, you're, you know, so, okay, um, baby, uh, okay, that, hello, yeah, this is my girlfriend that I was talking about with the family that I have no issues with. I'm doing the, the black in Bulgaria, do, do, do. But you know that they don't like you, right? <laughs> okay, baby, baby, I need to make the vlog. Okay, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna ask, uh, tell you that they're gonna go. Yeah. Shall I wait for you here or Yeah, I'm gonna be like five minutes. Okay, see you in a bit. Goodbye, my friend. Take care. So, oh, I've lost where I was now. Crap. Oh yeah, okay, so the people, people often complain about staring. But one thing you have to realize is that you are, as a black person, an extremely rare occurrence. You know, a lot of the, old, the elder generation, the elderly people, have never seen a black person in their lives. In fact, a lot of my girlfriend's family, the grandma, uh, or the grandma, you know, the grandparents, uh, her parents, I don't think they'd ever had an interaction with a black person. Or I'm, I'm mixed race, but you know, society clumps me as black, so I'm using that terminology, a black person before. Um, so of course the old people are going to stare at you. And in fact, of course young people will stare at you because the young people are raised on a lot of black culture now, you know, whether it's hip hop music, whether it's, you know, fashion trends, etc., whether it's sports, they consume a lot of media, which includes black people, but they don't get to meet many. So of course they're going to stare at you. And yes, it may, might feel awkward at first, but for me, I just think it's something that, that requires a little getting used to and some open-mindedness, okay? You need to understand that they're not doing it for any bad, evil, you know, racist reason, like some people would claim. It's just, you're, you're rare, dude. And you should, uh, you should take that experience and turn it into a positive. For me, when people stare at me, I don't find it, I don't get awkward, you know, creeped out by it. I don't find it to be a negative thing. In fact, I just, you know, I, I, I'm actually happy that I've managed to, you know, offer some, some change in the scenery, so to speak, in their day. They've managed to see someone, just like this YouTube channel, they get to see someone who's a little bit different. And um, by, by, by being a positive person, by making positive changes, oh, look, look sorry, seagull. I really like seagulls. Uh, by creating positive energy and, and being a high vibrational human being, I am able 
to change perceptions and, and, and I'm very blessed actually to be black in Bulgaria, to be rare because I get to um, change perceptions, you know, perceptions of, I know a lot of people have stereotypes of, of uh, coloured coloured people or black people, I don't know what, what, what's the correct term to use, I don't really care anymore um, because of African, you know, African American media. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a real blessing for me to show that, you know, we're not all one dimensional and um, there are, just like there are with uh, white, Asian, green, blue, yellow people, there are literally tons and tons of, uh, of types of different people um, or different black people around the world. So moving on from that, um, the staring bullshit don't listen to the some of the youtubers that complain about staring in eastern europe i have been by the way guys more information i have been to kosovo i have been to north macedonia or greater bulgaria <laughs> i'm joking um i have been uh romania obviously extensively in bulgaria a lot of central europe some more eastern europe i've been everywhere in this region this eastern region of the world and i have not experienced one one negative incident okay they are selling you a lie when they tell you not to travel east when they tell you not to explore cultures because the reality of it is is that the east eastern europe and central europe and southern europe as well every part of europe apart from the west is far less racist i experienced eh, a lot more prejudice let's say or a lot more awkward uh, semi-racial moments in the uk than i ever did in bulgaria just throughout my free free years at uni to be fair so do not believe what the media tells you i know what the bbc they put you know that uh that england bulgaria game with the, the a few idiots doing a salute and said that's all bulgarians it's not it's fake news okay um so there you go staring that's not an issue now uh, let's move to the the next part of this conversation um will you be accepted will it even matter if you're black Listen guys, especially my uh, fellow uh, black or non-white YouTubers um, or even foreigners guys, even if you're white, you need to understand that um, and I'm freestyling, as you know, I, I freestyle a lot of my videos, I don't make scripts, I don't believe in them, I want it to come from the heart. You, you cannot subscribe to this idea that you will not be accepted. The moment you think you won't be accepted, you will not be, okay? For me, I treat my life in Bulgaria as I treated my life in the UK. I try and learn the language, I definitely try and learn lots of the culture, and I go into each and every interaction, even with an old person who may not even know what I am, what I stand for, who I am, and may have negative pre you know, uh, preconceptions of me, and I go into every single one with an open heart, an honest heart, a high vibration heart, and that shows, that honestly shows and like I said, I've never had a negative influ uh, uh, incident in this country. Even when I'm walking around the street on the beach with my, with my Bulgarian girlfriend. There's no people chasing me with a pitchfork, idiots. If you think that actually happens, you're crazy, okay? Eastern Europe and Southeastern Europe, which is what Bulgaria is, is socially as developed, if not, I believe, more developed than the West. Now that's my opinion, that's my subjective opinion. Now you guys can talk about money, sure, they might not have as much money, but the family values are still here, the tradition is still here, and for some reason at the same time, thankfully, the openness to foreigners is still here. And as a black person, as a white person, as any person, when I came here, um, well let's say over time with my YouTube channel, um, it's now become my mission to spread that positive message not only of Bulgaria and its openness, but also of my kind um, and my people and how we can bring value to many other countries and ignore the, uh, the American propaganda which is often put forward as the only dimension to people who look like me. Okay, so staring, check that one off the list, that's fake news. Actual bad experiences, fake news. There are some little things, for example, um, <laughs> they use the word negar for a black, for a black person. It's not a racist term or a, or, a, or a word at all. It's just what they use, okay? It's just the word they use. It's not racist. Um, just want to cover that because I know some YouTubers uh, don't like the fact that, um, that 
Bulgarians and Spanish and the Spanish and most of Europe uses um, some form of negar or negro as um, the way to refer to black people. You've got to understand you've been brainwashed and conditioned by Americans. That word, no word can be offensive and especially this word because it's just a word they use for people who look like us. Okay, I learned that first day here. Okay. So when people use that to reference me, I don't get offended because I'm not going to subscribe to American ideas of what is good and what is bad. Instead, I take everyone by the heart and the content of their personality, not by the words that are traditionally used in their country. They do not mean any harm when they use this word, okay? Um, and if they do anyway, yeah, if someone did use the, the, the bad version of it, who cares, dude? It's a word, free market. As long as someone does not cause physical harm to you, they are allowed to say and act as they will, okay? We cannot allow um, the democratic freedom of free speech to be harmed because it offends some of us, okay? Whether we are gay, straight, white, blue, green, yellow, we should be able, black, we should call everyone anything we want, providing we don't hurt them, and that then we laugh about it. If an idiot wants to be offensive to me, He's an idiot, he's a low quality human being and he has missed an opportunity to generate value with another person from a diverse background. He loses, okay? If someone is <laughs> if someone is offensive, they lose, not me, okay? Oh, a little doggo came to me. <laughs> now, um, moving on from that, um, I'll probably just wrap this one up by, um, by talking about some more some more of some more things about my experience okay ever since my first day in, 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 here in bulgaria i um I, I've, I've made i've been able to make friends very very easily and ironically one thing i would say is the uh, the, the fact that you are different actually generates a lot of value and provides you with an opportunity to make friends okay if i wasn't who i was if i didn't look how i do i would not have had as positive of an experience in Bulgaria, in my humble opinion, okay? Me being black is the reason, or one of the reasons why, it has been so bloody great here, and people have been so friendly. It's something novel, new, guess what? You're on a new frontier, technically speaking. So you're able to, to smash boundaries and, and, and create a new, a, a, a complete new paradigm in the way people think about um, um, black people in general, okay? Um, there are too many positive experiences for me to reference, but you guys have seen me with family, traveling, with multiple friends. It's not a fake life. Everything I do is off the cuff and you know that. So if you are a black person, green, blue, yellow, any person, even a white foreigner, and you're worried about not settling in, not being able to assimilate and not being accepted because of what you know foreign Western media has told you, please know that that's bullshit, okay? Please know that um, Bulgaria and the Balkans and Eastern Europe is a very welcoming place and you can definitely come here and uh, have a great time and generate value and do good things okay make it a better place make it um, the place that everywhere should be okay um, <laughs> I mean all jokes aside you know I I would I feel far safer here even walking down the street at 3 a.m. Uh, in Plovdiv than I ever have in London, in, in Britain, and definitely than I would have uh, felt or how I would feel if I was living in America right now, okay? Don't buy into the hype, okay? The Balkans, Eastern Europe, um, all of these regions are, all of these regions that say far, you know, further east, ones that don't subscribe to the, the current Western narrative or the, uh, the money-centric, uh, let's say, toxic culture of Western countries, um, they're, they're, they're pretty open and they're fairly diverse. You'd be surprised guys, okay? You won't be the first one. I hope this has made sense. It was more of a rant, more of a ramble because I really wanted to capture some of this wonderful scenery as a chel and muj in Chernomore. And um, that, that, I'm just saying a black man at the Black Sea. Um, thankfully, the, I didn't get, you know, there were no police in the Black Sea, so I was safe. <laughs> But um, all jokes aside guys, I, I really hope uh, this video brings value to some people who might be worried about the issue of racism, fake news, okay? It doesn't exist. Well, it does exist, okay? It does exist. But um, if it, even if it, it does occur on the extremely rare occasion, which it hasn't for me, 
you should um, either ignore that person, move on, because there are stupid people everywhere, and you, um, you actually feel pity for that person, that their personality is so shallow that they have to resort to that, or you, um, you try to change their mind. How about that, guys? Okay, there's a lot of prejudice in this world. How about we try to change people's mind? Okay? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I have a Patreon. Um, from next week, I will be posting regular videos on Patreon. Um, also, allowing my subscribers to choose topics. The people who subscribe to Patreon. It's like, I don't know, it's like five euros a month. I don't know what price it's going to be. It's just, you know, making videos is a big time investment. So, um, with a Patreon, I can justify investing more time into making more videos. So if you want to, you can subscribe to that. If not, it doesn't really matter, guys. I'm, I'm obviously making many videos right now on my YouTube channel. So and that's free. So do what you want. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I love you all. Um, yeah, who do I need to shout out? Shout out to everyone. Shout out to um, Chris Tanev for making my experience in Bulgaria great. Giorgio. Um, shout out to Georgi. Shout out to Marin. Shout out to all the people I met um, in my first few months here. Shout out to Ivan, uh, Ivan. shout out to uh, Yulia, shout out to all of the Bulgarians who smashed that stereotype apart. The one of uh, people here in Balkans and Eastern European are racist and made me feel welcome and made me feel at home. Obviously, most importantly, thank you to Joanna, my wonderful girlfriend and her family for welcoming me. What else can I say here, guys? What else can I give you? Oh, yeah. There you go, there you go. Um, oh, shout out to my special friends on Balk. Uh, obviously, you guys will know that reference. Um, you degenerates. <laughs> and um, yeah, subscribe guys. Speak to you later. Peace.